Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video I am going to tell you about 10 cool things that you can do with Huawei Y7 Prime 2018. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is the home screen style. Now normally with Huawei phones you get this um, home screen setup where there is no app drawer but you can change that. So for that you need to go in settings and then go in display and here go in home screen style and then select drawer. Once you do that you will get an app drawer. So now you simply tap here and you will get your app drawer. You can still access the phone search by swiping down on the home screen and search for apps, contacts, messages and anything else that you want. Now moving on to the next feature you can also change how your display looks. Now some people like a slightly warm tone to the display, others like a colder tone but you can change how it looks. So for that again go in display, go in color mode and here you can change different profiles. So you can select warm and it will give it a slightly yellowish reddish tinge you can go for cold and obviously you can select your own tone from up here and if you don't like it you can go back to default next up i want to talk about the fingerprint scanner at the back of the phone as always and as with every other huawei phone it is lightning fast and unlocks the phone within milliseconds but there are tons of features associated with it so for that we need to go in security and privacy and then go in fingerprint id and here you can see that you can uh, do a lot with this fingerprint scanner. You can take a photo video if you're in a camera. You can answer a call. So if you're getting an incoming call, simply tap the fingerprint scanner and it will attend the call. You can stop an alarm. You can show the notification panel. So if you swipe down on the fingerprint scanner, it will pull down the notification panel. And if you swipe back up, it will remove it. You can also browse photos with it. So if we go in gallery here, I can swipe on the fingerprint scanner and it will move the photos. Pretty cool. Next up, just like an iPhone X, we also have face unlock on this phone. So go in settings, go in security and privacy and here you will see this option called face unlock. Go in here, add in your pin and it will ask you to scan your face. Now there is no special sensors or special camera or infrared here to scan your face what it does is that it uses the front facing camera to scan your face and then use it to unlock so let's go ahead and give it a try and there we go now it will scan your face let me put it up here so the face has been enrolled and it took some time obviously it needs a lot of light uh, to scan your face now you can do one or two things you can set it to directly unlock the device so as soon as you turn on the screen it will unlock and let you in to the home screen or you can set it to slide to unlock now what this will do is that it will unlock the device but will not enter the phone to the home screen so uh, let's try both of them right now it's on direct unlock and let's lock it and let's see if it works so there you go it was pretty quick so that was the direct unlock and you can see that it has let me enter into the phone now let's change that to slide to unlock so now it's open but i am not still in the device so now i have to slide and now i am in the phone and on the home screen now we also have one handed UI here so let's go in settings and in smart assistance and go in one handed UI and here you will see this option called mini screen view so go in here and turn it on now once you do that you can simply swipe on the navigation bar towards the right and it will minimize the display towards the right and then you can swipe towards the left and it will do that on the opposite side now if you want to get out of this simply tap outside the screen and it will maximize it Moving on we also have got motion control here so for that we need to go in settings and go back in smart assistance and go in here and now here you can turn on uh, three different features. So we have got flip to mute the phone so if you are getting an incoming call or an alarm you can simply put it face down and it will mute it. You can use three finger uh, screenshot motion control so you can simply swipe down with three fingers and it will take a screenshot. And finally you can uh, double touch on the screen to turn it on or off. Now this only works on the lock screen. So right now it's turned off and if I double tap it turn on the screen and now if I double tap again it will turn it off. It will not work if the phone is unlocked. So for example if it's unlocked right now and I double tap it will not turn off the screen. Now the next feature on the list is called picture in picture. So for that we need to go in video player and play a video. So let's play this video here. Now 
I can actually turn on the picture in picture view by tapping this button on the top here and now you can see that I can move it around go about doing my business on the phone whatever I want to do and it's going on in here and then I can pause it play it cancel it and maximize it if I want so there we go now moving on to the next feature that I want to talk about Huawei has actually lifted up right off Samsung and it's called game suite so if I go in here you get this game suite folder here now it works exactly like game launcher does on Samsung devices so if I go in here what it does is that it gets all the games on your phone and put them in this one folder it does it automatically now we have a couple of really interesting features here you can actually uh, play games in a gaming mode which is the perfect mode to play games in. it is an optimized mode and it gives you the best gaming experience but it does uh, affect the battery of the phone now you can also play games in power saving mode now it will conserve the power but will affect the gaming performance and then we have got a smart mode which uh, tries to balance between the two and uh, it tries to give you the best gaming performance all the while conserving the battery the next feature we have here is called uninterrupted gaming so it actually blocks all the notifications and allows you to play the game uh, without getting interrupted however it does not include alarms or incoming calls now if you want to know more about these features you can go in this menu and go in feature description and get to learn about these features in detail from here next up we can also play around with these navigation buttons down here so for that we need to go in settings and then go in system and here look for system navigation go in here and then you will need to go in navigation bar now here you can choose between different profiles here with different uh, setups so you can select this one which I have right now and this gives you this button down here on the right so if you tap on it it will pull down the notification panel for you and tap on it again and it will remove the notification panel and then you can also turn on this feature called navigation bar so it gives you this button here on the left if you tap it it will make the navigation bar disappear but you can make it reappear by simply swiping up from the bottom of the display finally the last feature that i want to mention here is a way to conserve battery without affecting the performance so for that we need to go in settings and in here go in battery and here you will see this option called smart resolution now what this does is that it reduces the resolution of the display and uh, conserves battery in that way and it will not affect the performance of the phone. So that's about it from this video guys. Those were the 10 cool things that you can do with Huawei Y7 Prime 2018. If you have any questions about this phone, you can let me know in the comments or you can catch me up on Twitter. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.